video welcome back to the channel today is march 22nd and as of yesterday night uganda got its first case it is a ugandan male that was traveling from dubai into uganda so far it has not spread to anyone yet there's no other cases just him and he's in isolation uganda has been doing really well at trying to contain and stop the spread of this virus even before it came into the country so all schools churches huge gatherings have been canceled and that was of like a week ago so that's good but yeah that's just a little update of the whole coronavirus thing and obviously as things change within the next week i'll update you and also just to like preserve history and remember what happened each day this week i've been wanting to do a week in my life for such a long time now and i finally am like okay let's film it even though it's totally affected by corona like i just have to stay at st Hugh for this whole week um and for who knows how long <laughs> i know that this time is full of so many unknowns but the one thing that i know for sure without a shadow of doubt is that god is in control and god is not surprised by this virus and god has a plan through it all even though we may be like how can any good come of this there is good that can come of it and it's just up to you to find the glass half full not half empty and just i encourage you to like even write down your blessings write down 10 things you're thankful for each day and it'll totally change your mindset and how you look at things so that's my challenge to you this week and i'll be doing it as well i'll also be doing 30 days of hidden blessings on instagram a girl i follow started that whole thing so i was like this is amazing i love this so i've been posting like a hidden blessing i find each day on my instagram so as you saw from the montage earlier i just did my morning routine got ready and usually i would be going to church today but since that's canceled i just watched a video sermon from my church back in us it's been pretty awesome i love my pastor chuck shout out to you anyway i'm about to go help feed lunch with the babies usually sundays are like my chill day my day kind of off so i like go to church and then sometimes i go to the pastor's house for lunch i've known them for so many years growing up we'd always go to their house and stay that's been so nice to just go over and kind of just relax have lunch at their house um and then i just kind of take the afternoon off sometimes i do do dinner sometimes i don't depends on like how i'm feeling if i'm tired if i have things i need to do sunday's just kind of like my reset chill sabbath day um but since the whole corona thing saying he's not letting in outside volunteers other than people who are living here and they definitely need more help because there's less staff just thought i should throw that in there so i think that's all for now and i'll keep updating y'all throughout the day because she's moving in to San Yu today and not just be alone at her house because she lives off site. Right. Yeah. Moving day. <laughs> I literally have this puzzle on my lap to keep it safe. Lunch. Woo. Boom, down that real quick. It was so good. Mediterranean. Mm. That was awesome. Oh sorry, goodness. sorry. I wanted to see your Hello. reaction. So we just walked and did our last shop. We got the essentials. I know you're gonna laugh at all the toilet paper jokes, but we got fruit, chocolate, you know, Milk. everything we need. Milk. Yeah. So Keeps we're set. Because as of today, we can't really go out. Holy cow! If you've not tried this, try it. It's 2,000 shillings, which is like less than a dollar. I'm so good. Literally, try it. Welcome to Cookie with Aaliyah. We're back. And today, we're going to make... <laughs> <laughs> a 
that's Emily, by the way. I mean, I feel like you guys know her, but. <laughs> so, <clears throat> we're going to be making some banana and ice cream. So, what you do, you take bananas. These are kind of, like, obviously older, mushier, whatever. And then you mash them up in a container. So, I'll do that and then check back in with y'all. Okay, next, you add some cinnamon for that little pop of flavor. Just kind of do, like, a lot. Oh, yeah. Also, if you haven't seen my limited resources cooking, check it out. Do more cooking in this kitchen. All right, now you just pop it in the freezer and you're good to go. So I'm being super healthy and having a bag of popcorn for dinner because I'm so full from lunch because I had it at like two. So you know when you like don't pop it long enough and then there's kernels? Okay, so here's my room. Here's Emily's room. She just moved in. All her drink stuff, her little bed on the light. Look at these fan of the fairy lights. Okay, I'm gonna go shower now because I'm super tired. So see you tomorrow. Today is sensory day Monday in class. <laughs> Hi, Ed. You having fun over there? <laughs> It is raining hard. Now it got light, but it was raining real hard. I'm currently eating sweet potatoes, mashed sweet potatoes with cinnamon and brown sugar and a little butter. Oh my goodness, so good. Anyway, so basically this morning I woke up and I just laid there and didn't have the energy to get up and turn off my alarm. Um, so yeah. Then we take the little babies, not the baby newborns, but like the toddlers. I don't know how to explain it. We did like the little kids for class this morning and they did like sensory play. So it was like foam and then like some flour and gloop. And I just played with that, had a good old time. And then I fed some babies and then changed some and then put them to bed and then helped with the dishes. Now I'm back. Hello. Guys, I'm literally using a cup right now as a tripod. Huh? It's pretty awesome. But yeah, I'm gonna take a photo of it. Hey, so it's a little later, and Ellie. welcome to the crib. These two are not supposed to be in here. This is the Ellie, guest house. Ellie, how are you? How are you? Dude, wait, what is this? Where'd you get? At two. What? No, that is disgusting. You're not gonna play with trash. Is she? Bye. 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 She like doesn't know how to close the door. It's so cute. <laughs> Love the visitors. What are you, Isaiah? What are you eating? What is that? No, I juice. No, it's not juice. Okay. No, and you can't have that either. So basically, I went over and helped with the three o'clock feed. They all wake up from their nap, and I'm gonna go over. It's like five something, and I'm gonna go first to the babies until dinner at six. <laughs> Okay, you need to not play with that. Marcus, join the party. Say hi. Ash. Uh huh. I love, Dad. I love you. Yeah. I want to. Excuse me. 
<laughs> Aw, thank you. I love you, Jeremiah. Yeah, so this is my best friend, Marcus. And then this is my boy, Jeremiah. Titus squad rounds. We're just missing Momo and Divine. Yeah. yeah. And some of the little babies, but. What? Yeah. Oh my goodness. Hey, yeah? Yeah? Yeah, 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 yeah. Welcome back. I missed ya. I missed you. So today I just had some oatmeal with bananas while I did my devos and then I walked over to do class. Oh hi John. Yeah, yeah. How are you? Yeah, yeah. Good morning. Yes? Yeah, yeah. We made watermelons out of half of a paper plate, so that was super fun. Yay! Yay. <laughs> Alright, who's finished this shading? Okay. Bye. Okay. Bye. Bye. Um, I don't think I said this earlier, but one to three is when the kids are napping. So then that's when I'm off and I get my lunch break and I can just chill, do whatever I need to do. So that's what I've been doing. Yeah, which is kind of like um, tortillas, but they're more oily. Pancakes, so good. And then, oh my gosh, I literally almost cried when I saw the broccoli. So sorry it's been a little while since I've done an update, but I decided yesterday to just do like a quick fast-paced video. Otherwise, this whole week in my life would literally be half an hour. So I just want to do like a quick little thing there. So today we did class with the older kids and we had them decorate little pineapples. Pineapple. Jeremiah, what is this? Pineapple. Gracie, what is this? Pineapple. Abraham, what is this? Pineapple. Yay! And then just, you know, the routine, you guys probably know by now, so I feel like I don't need to show it. Basically, lunch, clean up, put the kids to bed. Oh my gosh, seriously. Oh my goodness. <laughs> 
Made some tortillas with black beans and cheese. My favorite. Got them stuck to the plate. Mm-hmm. Fun fact, Keely and Becca literally brought these tortillas. And I almost cried when I saw them. Because I miss them so much. Oh, a little update about the whole coronavirus. There's now, like, no public transport to, like, Boda's, which if you haven't seen that video also go check that out bodas and matatus which is basically like a taxi it's just like a crazy bus that looks like it's falling apart yeah i don't really like them i've only rode them twice and that was because it was like far distance and i had to but they're not my fave anyway that's all canceled just because like there's so many people shoved in a matatu like for sure if someone had corona the whole bus would get it which like it doesn't really affect me because i'm not allowed to leave cnu anyway but that's just that update. I think I'll just catch up with y'all when I go see the kids again. We have another visitor. Oh, where are you going? Where Back you going? again. <laughs> wow. Prince, what are you doing? <laughs> oh, what is that? Oh, don't, don't put your mouth on it. Grace He's not gorillas. <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh, he got the Miranda. Uh, Prince. <laughs> Thank you. Good boy. Yeah. Don't touch the puzzle. Right. Prince. Tigende. <laughs> no. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Club going on here. Oh, another one joins. Hey guys! Whoa! Feast tonight. We have Matoki and Jaina sauce, which is a traditional um, Ugandan food. It's like plantains, cooked plantains, and then peanut sauce is like basically like peanuts but ground up in the sauce. And then rice and beans, and then Irish potatoes. So it is a later at night after dinner. Um, I thought that today I would just kind of show you my nighttime routine because on Monday I showed you my morning routine. So let's do it. I just had some cinnamon toast for breakfast which is actually so good and i used to have it back in america but i totally like forgot about it emily didn't need help with class today so i just kind of slept in which was so nice and now i'm about to go over for lunch with the kids <laughs> Oh, life could be a dream if I could 
So it is later tonight, I already have my dinner and everything, and I did bedtime with the older kids tonight, but I obviously couldn't film that because they're coming out of the bath naked, and now I've had to put naked babies on the internet. So, yeah. But basically, I just, yeah, it helped with the bedtime with the older kids, which I don't do every single night, just because sometimes it gets really crazy, but I decided to do bedtime tonight, and it was actually really good. Earlier this afternoon, I cleaned out my water filter because it was going really slow and just needed to be cleaned out. So I did that and figured it all out, and now it's running super fast, which is good because I try to drink a lot of water, and here in Africa, you can't just drink out of the tap because the water is not clean, like, you'll get sick. When I first got here for a few months, I was just boiling my water to kill all the germs, parasites, whatever crap that's in there. Um, but then I got this filter from missionary friends that live here and ugh, revolutionary so much easier Yeah, it's awesome Then I just kind of went through some of the photos that I've been taking from the past few days and putting that on my hard drive Like into folders because if I don't organize it like I'm literally gonna have nine months worth of photos just Randomly on my hard drive. So I have to like make sure that I organize it all so that later when I look back on it It makes sense and everything I think that's it. So I'm just going to go shower and then kind of like read a little bit, maybe journal. Um, so see y'all tomorrow. I had a dream about like photography and I woke up like super inspired and I was like, oh my goodness, and I like wrote a bunch of my journal and stuff. I like photography journal. So I like, wrote a bunch in there and just like my ideas like i haven't been in that creative mindset in a while so it's just like so awesome and i love that also i'm wearing my dad's shirt today it says make coffee not war also i've really been into reading this book by katie davis and i read it before but it's just totally different reading it while you're in country and especially like the beginning where she's just out of high school and in uganda like a lot of it i can relate to and i'm like okay that's literally how I'm feeling right now. And it really just encourages me to love these kiddos even more. And it's just super cool. Jeremiah! Oh my gosh, bears! <laughs> Moses! Moses! Grace! Cheese! Cheese! <laughs> Finny! This is really funny. I'm not a Bears fan, but this is from my area. Busty boo. Kelab. <laughs> hey, buddy. Mwah. <laughs> Just chilling with my buddy over here. There you are. Okay, Ebenezer's vlogging now. Here you go. Oh, okay. Wait, you gotta hold the right spot. There you go. We're gonna see he's actually holding it. Go! Start them when they're young. Ah, 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 ah. Oh, okay, don't eat it. No. Don't leave me.
All right, I'm in the bathroom and it is laundry time. Um, I also did laundry like on, I think I did on Wednesday, either Tuesday or Wednesday I did laundry, but I just forgot to film it. Also, I did like a whole laundry video by itself, so you can check it out right up there. Um, I'm not gonna like film it because you can literally watch the video. So, if you're curious, you do that. Because there's not any washing machines here, so I have to wash every piece of clothing item I wear by hand. Yeah, so I'm basically a pro. Alright, so I got a little snack. Are you surprised it's popcorn? I'm pretty much like 80% popcorn, so... Someone did a big poo-poo. Dunkin' Dunkin' Donuts. Dunkin's are clean. Oh, sorry. Rough life. So I'm like trying out new angles, but this one you just can see my half-made bed in the background and like my <laughs> messy desk. That's where I keep my water, my clean water. Anyway, it is nighttime if you can't tell. I just had some dinner, super yummy, potatoes and pancakes. The Joel's signature. By the way, Joel is our like housekeeper dude guest house management person who like cleans and stuff and he makes dinner for us every single night except Sundays so oh, yeah. yes oh in your th hold on oh, I just got my laundry and it wasn't like dry all the way so I just have to awkwardly hang it around my room and like the chairs at the dining room table so I also facetimed my brother and then my family was like in the background popped on and said hi to them so that was super awesome. So today, Saturday, concludes a week in my life. I wanted to do a week specifically rather than just one day because like literally each day is different. So I thought a week would be able to show more of like what I do and stuff. Um, anyway, so tonight I'm just going to do my nighttime routine, shower, and then I might watch a movie. Who knows? We'll see. Um... But I am supposed to FaceTime my friend, so we'll see if that works out. But, like, with the time zones, it's really confusing. Because she's not in Wisconsin at the moment. She, I think she's in Texas. We all know I'm not good at math. Anyway, I just want to say thank you so much for watching. And if you stuck around to this part right now, you're a real one. Thank you. Hopefully you enjoyed it. It's entertaining. I try to make it entertaining. Sorry if I didn't film, like exactly everything but a i was trying to keep it short and b like it's kind of awkward to just like whip out my phone and like film 
with like all the mom lives and everybody there I don't want it to be like oh the kids are like a zoo when I'm just here filming everything so try to be respectful about that as well yeah please give it a thumbs up if you did like it, it really does help and subscribe and turn on those post notifications so that you don't miss out on my next video also I have absolutely no clue when this is gonna be posted it might be like when I get back to the US and have good Wi-Fi but um We'll see. So it might be like a little throwback video that I can post when I get back to America. Oh, also a little COVID-19 update. So there's like 23 cases now in Uganda. So it is spreading, but like not super fast. At this point, I still don't exactly know the exact day that I'll go home. But um, cross that bridge when you come to it. Trusting God's got it. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day, however long that may be.